Hello YouTube, Mr. Forks, another tutorial here, don't have hiccups this time. Okay, got a request on how to create text as seen in this trailer. Um, just going to play. Um, here we go. So, as you can see, it's like cool 3D text, and um, one thing to look out for is the uh, that I wanted to go over because this is more of a basic tutorial. It's like the if you look um, closely, you've got different colors around the edges, um, and you've obviously got some depth, and you've also got a sheen that travels across. However, we're not going to be covering the sheen. Um, you can artificially create that in After Effects or such. Um, so this is what I ended up with um, for now. Um, not quite as glossy, um, but this is majorly touched up. Um, as you can see, but it is 3D based on the um, perspective that you can see. Um, also, I didn't have the textures or the uh, or the font, so this is what we're gonna the sort of thing we're gonna get. Uh, I know it's not quite Michael Bay, but you know we're getting there. And also, the from director is a bigger than Dan, Allen. but we've got a lot to get through. So let's get started. Um, also in this tutorial I did animate it so that it sort of comes on I just the camera needs to be uh, more like that okay right let's get started we're gonna go file new scene um, yeah we're gonna save it from director there we go okay so, where's our new scene, Maya? Okay, fantastic. We got a new scene. Um, very quickly, create text. Hit this box. Um, I'm using a font called SF Movie Poster. We want to create uh, two texts. One that says uh, Dan Allen. And create text. And another that says from director mainly so that we can have one over the other and hit create uh, not looking too pretty um, you want to center it, hit the W key and uh, move the text over so that it's in the middle W key and move that up now we're going to change all the scale now so we hit the um, scale key G highlight them both and we're going to scale them down proportionally and like that hit key number 5 so we can see what we're working with um, I want to make my name bigger um, if we go to modify we can center the pivot so it will scale around the middle now which is much nicer to work with modify center pivot so, right, W just to move them a bit more central again. Okay, well, that's what we're going to focus on for the tutorial. Okay, right. Select your text, um, make sure you're using the attributes editor, which is this button here, and click along until you see text for bevel and sorry to see bevel plus two we want to change the bevel width to 0 0.083 looks good and here's the difference what we're going to do because if you see this goes from zero to whatever we actually want to set it to a negative value and you can do that you just have to type it um, negative 0 0.0 one eight. I'm gonna go with, and um, as you can see, the um, inner face does actually go inwards now. Pretty cool stuff, and um, also increase the extrude different distance. And we're gonna copy these values straight over to so uh, zero point zero eight three, 
0.083. I know the next one is negative 0.018 and we're going to extrude it a bit more because it's my name which is obviously more important. Okay so we've got some cool text already um, now we need to try and texture it. Uh, we're going to create a blin and click the ch um, checker box next to color I go file, which gives us our file options in the attribute editor. Click this uh, folder icon, then we can navigate to the file that we want. That one looks cool. And if we go down here, we can see different color offsets. So default color, we're going to push it to um, dark blue, hit accept, and we're going to color gain a bluish but not overly blue um, text. Actually we'll, we'll push it up like that and select both objects right click and press assign material to selection. Um, if we go over to the rendering tab up at the top here um, click on this button you can see a quick render for our text so not looking too bad, but now we need to give the outside edge a different material. How do we do that? It's pretty simple. Um, what I'm going to do, um, I want to clear my work area uh, because I'm not going to add anything extra for the time being. I'm going to hit this erase tool and we've still got the material, but it's up here. Um, so we're going to select it, Command C, Command V. We'll create another copy of it. And with our original, we're going to change it in the file panel. We're going to change the color gain to like a, a white but a gray. If that makes. No, we're going to go white when we're playing it. Except. Just like that. I'm in the middle of something at the moment, if that's okay. Be with you shortly. I'm wanted, you see. Genius. Okay. I'm just going to mess around with the settings, make it a bit whiter. I don't want to completely rid it of blue, so if we push that a little bit, like that, accept, and um, hit the render button. That's what the uh, outside of the text is going to look like. One thing I do want to do, if we go back to the blin, if we come down here, um, special effects, we're going to add a bit of glow because we're that little bit cool. Um, then to put the blue back on the faces, we're going to right click on our object and go um, face mode and um, just hand select all the faces. There was an easier way to do it. I tried ages try, trying to select all the uh, edges in the bevel, it didn't work. Now right click, drag, assign material to selection, then do it for the same here, face. I'm holding down Alt and middle click to um, pan, by the way, and then do that again. Go back to object mode on both of them. And in this view, you can see it's not the coolest looking thing, but when we hit that awesome render button, Look at that, stunning that is. That actually does look pretty cool. Um, looks better than the original I had. I want to squash Dan Allen down a bit, hit the R key to do that. Okay, um, next thing we want to do is add a light. Um, increase the reflectivity of um, both textures. So in our hyper shade, we'll collect that. Um, 
turn on refractions and increase reflection limit then add a light so that's also in our rendering panel I'm just going to add a simple point light hit W to get the move tool hit key number 6 and then key number 7 that um, gives us a better preview of what's actually going to be seen and drag where well it says 24 down here that's the default frame length um, go to about 35 seconds select both our texts hit command G or control G and that will group the item we can name the group um, to text hit the S key to set a keyframe go to key keyframe 1, drag out and press S. Um, that's all for now, end of tutorial, run out of time, see you guys soon.